at my lowest. Suicidal, I don't think you could get any lower than that. I felt alone. I felt a failure. I felt, I felt a failure as a mum, as a daughter, as a sister. And I felt as if I'd lost everything that I'd worked so hard for all my life by making the wrong decisions. And it's still, it's still heartbreaking. It still upsets me even now to discuss how low I was. It's five years since Mandy Walker came close to taking her own life and the memories are still raw. Newly single, estranged from her family and spending most of her modest income from a job in special education on rent, she'd built up around £12,000 worth of debts on credit and store cards. Her situation had become desperate. I lost over four stone in weight, my hair was dropping out, I didn't have the money to eat. Um, I, I walked around um, some of the supermarkets and I would buy a 21 pence packet of rich tea biscuits and that packet of biscuits had to last me a week and I thought actually my problems are not getting any better, they're getting worse and I thought what do I do and I just opened up my laptop put in help for debts and it came up with step change. Free advice and practical help to those who can no longer cope alone. 25 years ago, Calendar featured the launch of a new charity in Leeds for people struggling with debt. At the time, Step Change, or the Consumer Credit Council as it was then known, had just 11 staff. Good afternoon, Step Change Debt Charity, Jonathan speaking, how can I help you? Today it employs around 1,500. And last year they helped a record 620,000 people facing financial problems. But as for that figure... It is just the tip of the iceberg. And, and even more dramatic than that, the number of people who are at risk of falling into crisis debt is more 8 to 9 million people. The amount of people who need our help has increased really substantially over the last 25 years. And, and really we have difficulty keeping up with demand. We see both extremes. You get people who are very angry when they talk to us. You get people who are very upset um, and emotional. Um, and the first thing that we do for those people is just let them talk. Um, we're probably the first people they've spoken to about their debt problem. And, and the first of the people that probably listen to them as well. Oh, you're a good lass. Now living with her sister Katrina near Moulton in North Yorkshire, with the help of Step Change, Mandy is almost debt free. <laughs> the transformation has been dramatic. I can sleep at night now. I couldn't before. I don't get the letters coming to the door no more. I don't get the hassles from, you know, phone calls. Gradually, I'm getting back to who I was. Sam Casey, ITV News, near Moulton in North Yorkshire.